Welcome to today's video, where we're diving into the exciting forecast in the world of technology stocks. Recently, Wedbush Securities, a prominent investment firm, announced the onset of a new bull market in tech stocks. This bold prediction is not just a shot in the dark, it's backed by a surge in spending that's expected to gain momentum in the coming year, especially in the realms of cloud computing and artificial intelligence. Analyst Dan Ives has pointed out that Wall Street might be underplaying the potential growth in tech spending for the next year. Contrary to modest expectations, Ives predicts a robust increase of 20 to 25 percent, particularly as these technologies find more applications in both enterprise and consumer sectors. This growth isn't just limited to a few areas. It's an expansive wave that's set to revolutionize the tech landscape. This bull market will be a surprise for many, and can potentially start short coverings in tech stocks next month. Despite the current uncertain macro environment and the Federal Reserve's influence on tech stocks, Ives anticipates a significant rebound in the tech sector as the year draws to a close. The foundation for this optimism? A rock-solid growth trajectory for technology stocks, reinforced by recent market analyses. Ives underscores that we're at the beginning of a new tech bull market, with 2024 poised to be a landmark year as a tidal wave of AI spending makes its impact across the tech industry. Now, let's discuss the top four stocks set to benefit from the upcoming bull market. Starting with number one, Twilio Inc., ticker symbol TWLO. Twilio, a cloud communications platform, emerges as a compelling hidden gem in the world of stock investments, standing for the rare blend of low risk and high potential reward. The factors contributing to its attractiveness as a deep value stock make it stand out in today's market landscape. What lies ahead for Twilio stock? Predicting the future in the dynamic world of investments is challenging, but one reliable metric to gauge this is the company's earnings outlook. In a recent update, Jeff Lawson, Twilio's co-founder and CEO, shared insights on the company's narrative and growth prospects on CNBC's Squawk on the Street. In classic Wall Street style, uh, the, the market is appreciative and then they're like, okay, how much more can we get, at least on the margin front? What have you done for me lately? Absolutely. Well, you know, we're very focused on, on balancing the needs of growth and of profitability, but very clearly uh, we are showing that we can turn this uh, business into a great uh, profit-making cash-generating machine. Lawson highlighted Twilio's robust performance in the third quarter of 2023, marking another record-setting period for non-GAAP income from operations and free cash flow. Street has definitely gotten a little more energized when it comes to the space and the prospect of maybe uh, making a turn, a lot of hard decisions now out of the way. Is that how you see uh, the, 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 the narrative shaping up at least right now? Well, look, we've been doing a lot of hard work to take the business from its growth trajectory that we've been on, focusing almost exclusively on growth for the first, uh, you know, 10 plus years of the company's life to build this amazing customer base of 300,000 companies and 4 billion of revenue, and now spend the last 12 to 18 months turning it into a profitable growth. And we're really proud of the progress we've made. In fact, in just the last 12 months, we've seen a 17 point uh, increase in our non-GAAP op margin and a 36 point increase in our GAAP uh, margin as well. So we're very proud of the progress we've made in turning the corner towards profitability. The company's total revenue for the quarter reached $1.03 billion, reflecting a 5% year-over-year increase. Notably, communication revenue stood at $906.7 million, up 5%, while data and applications revenue reached $127 million, demonstrating a 9% year-over-year growth. Furthermore, Twilio's strategic move to authorize a share repurchase program in February, allowing for the buyback of up to a billion dollars of its outstanding Class A common stock, adds another layer of appeal. The company has already completed over $620 million in repurchases, accounting for more than 62% of the total program amount. The company's strategic focus on building a foundation for profitable growth, coupled with investments in its customer AI vision, underscores its commitment to delivering compelling outcomes for both customers and shareholders in the long term. How do you strike that balance? Because you've, you've cut about a third of your workforce over the last year. Um, how do you ultimately kind of catalyze things to the upside? I know you've got uh, an AI product that you're working on, um, but with a, a smaller workforce, is it uh, tenable in this environment? 
Yeah, I don't think the size of the workforce is the main driver of our growth ambitions. Really, it's bringing great products to market, and you're absolutely right. AI is being uh, is the potential to be a great tailwind for us. We introduced a couple of months ago uh, customer AI, which is the notion of what happens when you take all these amazing new capabilities we're seeing with both generative and predictive AI, and you make it customer aware. You give it all the data about your customer base, who your customers are, what they're likely to buy, what they're not likely to buy, are they likely to churn or not? You give all this data to AI and allow it to start to optimize the customer journey, every touch point from your marketing, to your sales, to your service and support, to your product, your mobile apps. Like AI will be able to optimize the journey for each and every customer in a tremendous way. And I think the result of applying AI to this customer domain will be that companies get 10 times better at serving their customers. And they're going to do it at one tenth of the cost of what they probably spend today to do that. And this is going to completely revolutionize companies and how they approach their whole front office, all their customer operations. As of the latest update, the current stock price stands at $58.84, yielding a year-to-date gain of 16%. Twilio is emerging as the preferred choice for quick gains, demonstrating resilience and potential in the market. Now moving on to number two, Zscaler Inc, ticker symbol ZS. Zscaler is a cloud security company at the forefront of transforming cybersecurity. Offering a comprehensive cloud-native platform, Zscaler empowers organizations to securely connect users to applications and data, regardless of their location. Through its innovative Zero Trust Exchange, Zscaler ensures that users and devices are authenticated and protected, reducing the attack surface and enhancing overall security posture. With a focus on simplicity, scalability, and performance, Zscaler's integrated approach to security enables businesses to embrace the benefits of digital transformation without compromising on safety. As a leader in the cybersecurity landscape, Zscaler continues to redefine the future of secure cloud connectivity. Zscaler has delivered resilient revenue growth and expanding operating margins in a tough macro environment. In early September of 2023, Zscaler CEO Jay Chowdhury spoke with CNBC about quarterly earnings, the positive outlook for 2024, and trends in the cybersecurity space. We delivered a very strong quarter and did exceptionally well in all areas, on year over year, revenue growth 48%, quarterly growth 43%, billings growth 38%. In today's market, where others are really being flattish, we did exceptionally well, we're very proud of it. Probably the biggest thing I'm proud of is the fact that we went from $1 billion ARR to $2 billion ARR in seven quarters. That's remarkable, I'm very proud of my team. Mm. Chowdhury addressed a specific metric, net revenue retention, also known as NRR, which had decreased from 125% to 121%. He expressed that NRR might not be the most reliable metric and is shared mainly because investors inquire about it. Chowdhury explained that when customers buy more of the platform up front, and if they make subsequent purchases sooner, it can result in a lower NRR. However, the focus is on selling the right solutions and platforms to customers to address their specific problems. He noted that Zscaler's services align with customers' high-priority cybersecurity needs. Zscaler stands out by not only providing cybersecurity solutions, but also demonstrating the ability to reduce costs for customers. Despite the existing market tightness, he expressed confidence in Zscaler's positive results. Chowdhury emphasized that their revenue, ARR growth, and billings are strong, and they are proud of their business performance. As of now, the current stock price for Zscaler stands at $175.04, reflecting an impressive year-to-date growth of 58%. These factors make Zscaler an appealing opportunity for investors looking to gain quickly, presenting an attractive investment opportunity. Now, moving on to number three, Block Inc., ticker symbol SQ. In recent years, Block has emerged as a pioneer in payment processing, solidifying its position as a leading fintech entity. Operating as point-of-sale, or POS, systems, Block services facilitate seamless sales transactions, secure payment acceptance, and efficient customer checkouts. The company's cash app service mirrors this user-friendly approach from the buyer's perspective. 
Despite a significant market value decline of nearly 80% since mid-2021, Block's financial performance presents a contrasting narrative. On the 2nd of November 2023, SQ reported third quarter earnings beating analyst expectations on both the top and bottom lines, indicating robust growth in cash app and overall square revenue. Addressing shareholders, Block co-founder Jack Dorsey emphasized the company's renewed focus, outlining plans to enhance the go-to-market strategy by targeting local restaurants and service businesses. Dorsey also highlighted a commitment to leveraging artificial intelligence technology to optimize engineering efforts. During the analyst conference call, Dorsey expressed his dedication to leading Square until key milestones are achieved, emphasizing a return to significant growth, increased innovation, and better ecosystem connectivity. The financials highlighted these ambitions, with net revenue rising by 24% to $5.62 billion, Bitcoin revenue reaching $2.42 billion, and gross profit climbing 21% to $1.9 billion. Cash App revenue experienced a remarkable 34% year-over-year increase to $3.58 billion, while Square revenue grew by 12% to $1.98 billion. In the past month, Square's stock has shown a noteworthy upward trajectory, surging by at least 13%. With the company's positive financial outlook, recent strategic shifts, and a $1 billion stock buyback announcement, the current moment appears opportune for investors seeking quick gains to consider Square as a promising investment. And number four, CrowdStrike Holdings, ticker symbol CRWD. CrowdStrike has been recognized as a leading growth player among cybersecurity firms leveraging channel sales. A Canalyst report reveals that 91.5% of cybersecurity technology spending occurs through channel sales, with resellers, system integrators, and MSSP partners making up 92% of the endpoint security channel market. Over the past five to six years, CrowdStrike has solidified its position as one of the fastest growing cybersecurity companies in the channel. Despite evolving cybersecurity challenges, CrowdStrike has maintained consistent solutions, allowing it to introduce a disruptive cloud-based platform catering to enterprises. The Falcon platform, developed by CrowdStrike, is designed to detect threats and prevent breaches. Notably, it is the first multi-tenant cloud-native intelligence security solution capable of safeguarding workloads across various environments, including on-premise, virtualized, and cloud while operating on diverse endpoints such as laptops, desktops, servers, and IoT devices. According to a Fortune Business Insights report, the global cybersecurity market reached a value of $153.65 billion in 2022, and is anticipated to reach $425 billion by 2030, indicating a compound annual growth rate of 13.8% during this period. In its investor presentation, CrowdStrike highlights that its total addressable market is projected to expand from $76.1 billion in 2023 to $97.8 billion in 2025, providing ample room for revenue growth. With multiple secular tailwinds in its favor, CrowdStrike stands out as one of the premier cybersecurity stocks globally. Currently trading at approximately $196.31, the stock has experienced a year-to-date surge of 90%, surpassing peers in the information tech sector, including Fortinet Inc. and VMware Inc. This performance positions CrowdStrike as an attractive option for those seeking quick gains in the market.